This is calculator question number 21 from SAT test number 3. College Board is asking which of these choices yields exponential growth. Exponential growth multiplies by the, the same constant each year. Linear growth will add the same constant amount each year. So in choice A, each successive year, 2% of the initial savings is added to the value of the account. Since 2% of the initial savings is a fixed amount, we're adding a fixed amount each year, so choice A is linear. They're asking for exponential. Choice B, each successive year, 1.5% of the initial savings and $100 is added to the value of the account. 1.5% of your initial savings is a constant. If you add $100 to that constant, you still get a constant. So again, we have linear growth. We are adding a constant amount each year because the percent is taken of the initial savings. And a fixed percent of the initial savings is a constant amount even if you add $100 to that. Choice C, each successive year 1% of the current value. So we're multiplying the current value by 1.01. That would be a exponential, which is what we're looking for. And choice D, each successive year, $100 is added to the value of the account. Again, we're adding a fixed amount each year. That makes this linear growth. And College Board asked for exponential, so linear would not be correct. The only exponential growth is choice C, where we multiply by a constant rather than adding a constant. Remember the equation for exponential growth, the amount you have in your account at time t is your principal, your starting amount, times 1 plus your interest rate to the t. So in choice C, it would be 1 plus 0 0.01 to the t times our initial amount. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.